So this is what I have as far as the, you know, um, I'm assuming I did it right because it says per leads, easy bake leads or whatever. So that that's the custom conversion, I'm assuming. Actually, we haven't, we haven't customized the column yet, which we'll do, we'll do right now. But one thing you always want to do also is, is whatever ad is off, shade that blue to gray. Oh, so if that good. second one is off, just shade it. Yeah, right there. You don't, have to, you don't have to check the box. Just shade it and then, and then shade that. Yeah, whatever is off, always try to do that. Why is so it? you got to uncheck that box. That's why, yeah, when you turn them oh, off, okay. it's not about checking the box. Just, just shade it. Okay, cool. And then, oh, okay. and then, and then do the same thing on the ad set. Just shut those ones off. Or they're already off, but just shade them to blue or shade them to gray. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's good. Actually, yeah, that's the like one. Okay, and then yeah, the third tab. Mm. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. So yeah, just uncheck all those blue at the top. One selected, one selected, one selected. Just uncheck all those or just check the box, whatever. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me make sure that that's right. Okay, so let's, um, yeah, uncheck that box right there so we could just focus on that top one. And then uncheck that one selected, just X out that blue. Oh shit, you got all the, okay, these are all, okay, those are all the ad sets, okay. So, but just uncheck that one selected. That, well, oh, where is that? Where is that that yeah, blue, one selected at the top, just exit out. There we go. Okay, cool. So, why don't we customize the columns real quick? Let's customize the columns real quick. Go to, um, go to columns performance, right there in the middle, um, columns and then performance. Uh, okay yeah right there and then go down to customize columns this is really i mean it's, it, i just like it this way that way you can really see you can really it rather than it being that general cost per result or the general result we can just name it what we named it we can we can title it what we actually named it which is right there custom conversion so right there to the left custom conversions click on that to the left uh to the left oh to the left i'm sorry custom okay. conversions so these this right here do you even have a custom conversion set up you should have a custom conversion set up yeah i do i do believe for the for the one i'm trying to run yeah because it's supposed to run on sunday well tomorrow well scroll up scroll up a little bit above ebook leads no on the, there's that yeah that one bring that one up Okay, right, you just scroll down. Okay, right there. Yeah, perfect. I knew you had one. So right there, easy battery leads. That's our custom conversion. So to the right, before we click on that, before we, do, before we leave that right there, but to the right, this whole freaking list of shit, there's a lot of metrics there that we don't need, that we don't even, that, that, that's not even really, that's not necessary. And all it does, all it does is clutter the damn column and, and we don't need all that clutter. So I, so I do this just to make it easier to, to the eye. Like when I look at this dashboard, I want to just see the, the metrics that matter right away. I don't, I don't care about impressions. I don't care about freaking last significant edit. I don't care about, I'm going to take out results. I do care about the results, but I have my own custom, my, I have my own custom conversion results. So I don't need that result. I don't need that reach. I don't need that cost per result. I do care about the cost per result, but I have my own custom conversion that's going to show me the cost per result. So let's X out a lot of this shit. Let's X out, X out last significant edit, X out results, X out reach, X the out result. impressions. Yep. X out impressions, X out cost per result, X out quality ranking, actually quality rate, lead, lead quality ranking, engagement rate ranking, X that out, conversion rate ranking, X that out. Um, Schedule, you can page likes, X that out. And then um, go ahead and scroll to the top of it above ad set name. Is there anything above that? Above ad set uh, name. What's, what's going on over here? Yeah, that's just, um, yeah, that's fine. You could, yeah, that, that bar is, is in the way metrics to include, but um, that's fine. Leave, leave that there. Um, and so that all, all that right there, I, I took out, made, and, I, and all I want to do is make, make room for, my custom conversions. So 
click custom conversions or just scroll down or actually, you know, it's right there. Just, just right for, no, 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 no click. So right there, easy battery leads. You see it right there to the, no, 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 right there. Yeah. So click on that one and then click on the third one over. And normally you can see it, what it is that, no, that box. So that the, or it's the second okay. box over. Yeah. Right there. Right. There. Click on, no, okay. no, no. The other one to the right. No, not that one. Not that one. The, um, the other one to the right. Yeah, right there. Perfect. That's yeah. That's the hover over it. Hover over the check mark. Actually, no, it's right there. So cost per easy. Yeah. So cost per is what I is what I want to know. So I want to know how many leads came in, and I want to know the cost per lead. Okay. So and then and then the amount spent is right there at the top. So go ahead and and and, and drag it up. The cost per easy battery leads. So don't exit out. Drag it up. Drag it up about uh, right by the amount spent. Let's put it around by the amount amount spent. Drop it right there, or drop it down, 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 down. Amount spent. Put it by the amount oh. spent. Oh. Right there, right there. Yeah, put it right there. And then drag the other one up. Put it right next to it. Perfect. So now, when we go look at when we save this and we go look at our damn freaking column in our dashboard, we see those numbers. How many easy battery leads came in? What was the cost per easy battery lead? And 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 when does it end? Of course. But what was the amount spent? You know, how much do we spend on the campaign? So now scroll to the bottom, to the very bottom left of this middle. Yeah, there we go. So save as preset to the left. Save as preset. And we're going to name this one Easy Battery Campaign. Perfect. And then um, go ahead and click apply. Okay, cool. So now... You notice right there at the top, columns, you're now in the easy battery campaign column. Now, so anytime you want to, um, um, well, sometimes by default, as you come back to the campaign, you'll have to hit that drop down because most like, watch, hit the drop down, columns, easy battery campaign, up, hit that drop down, no, up, above, can't, columns, easy battery campaign to the right, right there, hit that drop down. So as you come back in, Maybe tomorrow or later on, by default, it may be in the performance. So all you got to do is click on the drop down and go all the way down, and you'll see your customized the preset. Column. Yeah, you'll see the preset oh, right oh. there, Easy Battery Campaign, and just always you know, click on that one. So you can, it just makes it easier. When you, now, now that we look at the dashboard, boom, Easy Battery Leads. Cost right. per Easy Battery Leads. That's what you care about. So click out of this, and that's how you set up custom columns. So Okay. Right, it makes it look better, makes it easier to look at, right? Like, right. you know those just, metrics right away. And that's mm -hmm. all I care about, bro. Those are the most important metrics right there, bro. The, the budget, the amount spent, the easy battery leads, and the cost per easy battery leads. That's all that really matters, dude. The impressions, the reach, those are metrics that don't really matter. Like, I don't give a shit about that. You know, like, right. it's really those four, you know, that, 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 really, that really matter, you know, so. There it is there. That's custom columns. So what else we got? Um, okay, so I guess we'll go into just make sure this is all set up right. So check the um, box. So just check the box. So we can either go into the, the campaign. We don't need to look at that tab, but yeah, the middle tab. And then and then we, and then the, maybe the, the third tab. Okay, good. So this is what I'm confused about. Okay. I thought it was going to have like one. Is this saying that I'm running five ads? No, it's saying it's saying you're running you're running four you're running four ads, um, all to the you're running four ad sets. Watch, click on the middle tab, and each ad set is going to that one video. So you have these four different ads that are running going to that one video, and 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 depending on what the calendar is, whether it's a two week lifetime campaign or a 30 day campaign, whatever you got it going from it's, it's scheduled. Yeah. From the eighth to the 21st. So what is that? A couple weeks or a freaking almost a couple weeks. Like, yeah. It's like two weeks. It's like 14 days. Yeah. So, so, but here's the deal. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. And, um, you're going to be able to see this and, and you want to give it three days, give it a minimum of three days, three full days. Okay. Not, two and a half, like give it three full days. And then you'll come in here and these are the numbers you're looking at the amount spent, the cost per lead, the, 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 the amount of leads. It's these three right here. 
amount spent, leads, cost per lead. These are the three that you're looking at. Okay. So in three days, you're looking at that and you're going to shut off any of the ones you're going to shut off three of four. So three out of four, okay. you're going to want to shut off maybe two out of four. It's sometimes it's two out of four. Most of the time it's three out of four because, because you'll have one out of four that pops. Sometimes it's two out of four that pops, but actually, you know what? Sometimes you'll have all four that pop, but at the same time, they're not all popping at the same number at all. So let's say, for example, right. let's say all four are popping and, and how, and what, what, what's even the definition of popping? Uh, leads are coming right. in. Right. Leads right. are coming exactly. in. Leads are coming in. It's popping. Leads are coming in on all four campaigns, but what's going to differ is the cost per lead. What's going to, what's going to differ is the amount of leads. So, so if I have all four popping and leads are coming in on all four campaigns, but there's a different cost. So what I may shut off are the, the two campaigns where the cost per lead is high. And, or it might be three of four where, yeah, leads are coming in, but the cost per lead is high. I'm getting you know, $10 per lead on three of them. And the, and the one out of four, I'm getting freaking $2 leads. So it's like, if there's right. that big of a difference, then shut off the other three and just go all in with the other one. And, 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 and in a perfect world, here's how it's supposed to work, where the three that didn't pop or the three that cost, that you had a higher cost per lead, you shut those off after three days. And then that one that pops that should be popping so high that should be popping so much where that pays for the other three that didn't perform. Mm, okay. Right. So that's the one that you, at, at, the one that's popping the most but has the most reasonable call. If it's too high and it's not yielding any, any commission, mm -hmm. yep. then that's the one I turn off and we try to restructure. Not well. Yeah. You're going to restructure, but you're not going to restructure from here. You're going to just turn it off. And then, and then start a whole new ad. Don't edit anything in here. Right, right. You're just right. turning off. You're just turning off. You're just turning them off. So, gotcha. so, so the only thing that, that, that would, so then, so then when you, let's say you turn it off, then you go back to the drawing board and you're like, okay, damn, maybe that audience wasn't the right audience or maybe that video wasn't the right video. Mm. So, so. But that video is popping for people who follow AutoZone. And so, okay, we go all in. We leave Auto, AutoZone off. We, I mean, on. We turn off the other three. And then maybe we, go, maybe we go start a whole new campaign with those other three. Do it yourself, woodworking, auto mechanics. Maybe we go start a whole nother ad with those three audiences targeting a completely different video. Right, right. So you're saying if once I get once I get the results from these and see how it's going, then I'll say, okay, well, only, let's just say only DUI is working. So mm -hmm, I turned mm -hmm. off AutoZone and everything of that. I still am going to yep. have the audience AutoZone information for the cut for the leads mm -hmm. for that audience. Mm -hmm. I can then just take another video and then try another video with that with this AutoZone audience. Yep. Yep. Well, okay. if the auto zone is the one that you're leaving on or if it's the one you turned off. Say it again. What what were you asked? What what was your question? If the auto zone was turned on or if it, or if you actually turned it off? Yeah, if I went after the 3 days, I saw that uh let's just say D uh do it yourself is the only one that's really converting yep, yep, and really giving me yep, numbers. Yep. Then you're I right. turn off the okay, and then the I question, make a the new answer ad. Is yes. The answer was okay. yes to your, to that question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Cool. Yeah, so, so those audiences I'm... may not have appealed or that video may have not appealed to those audiences. And so, but those audiences, you know, for a fact, those are, those are, those are, that's where your ideal client lives. Then it would have just been the video. It could have been just the video. It could have been what was said on it. That's why when it comes to testing, when it comes to split testing, this is split testing. When you're, when you're testing different audiences, that's split testing. The other form of split testing, as I mentioned before to you, it's the third tab where we're now split testing either the video or we're split testing the image or we're split testing the headline of those videos or, or, or images. 
So, right. so that's where the, the testing really comes in. But at the same time, it's not like you're running these ads for a whole freaking month and blowing 150 on each one before we make a switch. No, we're running it for three days. In three days, you should have, a, you should have the data. Sometimes, sometimes pe some people will say run it for at least seven days, but I heard from the best of the best where it's like three days. Three days, in 72 hours, you should see enough data to know if that ad is performing or not. Um, sometimes, yeah, again, some people will say you run it for a little longer, but, but again, it, it's kind of to each its own. If you have a ton of money, then shit, okay, cool, test a little longer. But if we're working on a shoestring budget, three days should be sufficient to determine right. whether I need to turn that ad off or not. And, and again, as long as that's a good audience and we know that's a, that's a good audience, it might've just been the video, man. The video wasn't appealing, the image wasn't appealing or, 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 the, or the headline. And so that's where you go in and now you create multiple ads. That's split testing on that end where we're now running these four audiences, but to four different images or to four different videos. See right here, we're running all four audiences to one video. But if we really right. want to up our game, we have to up our budget because to really, really get gangster with it, those four should be four different ones. That's also where Facebook, okay, now we got four audiences, four different images. Let's run to each, each one and see which audience hits which video or which audience pops with what image or what headline pops to what audience. That's when you're really, really, you know, split testing. Um, but in this case, if you're, if you're, if you're kind of watching your budget, which everyone should be obviously in the beginning, yeah. wait till you get sales and then you can up your budget. But that's where you would do it next is split testing the ads, the third tab. Um, but, 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 but let's see if this one video should do, you know, is, is enough right now. You know, you got four different audiences and let's see how this one video does. Right. You know, I mean, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hope I don't really like this one because it looks too professional. You know what I mean? I wanted something a little bit more, you know, cell phone ish. That's, but you know, I'm going to see how this one works. I kind of just want to get over. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of, yeah, constantly going to be saying, let me try this, let me try this. So I'm just going to, so um, with it, but it, but everything seems to be from what you see, um, it should be okay as far as going here. There's the the AdSense, and then uh, goes there to the Ad X Y Z. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. All right. So click on the um. Click on the the first tab again. Campaign. Click on that tab and go into um. Edit real quick. Yeah. Click on edit. Okay, so we're on conversions, no special ad category needed, um, and then you're not doing you're not doing CBO. Um, so, and that's What's another that? that's another Do form of split to testing. No, not yet. Not we we won't run it on this one. We'll run it on the next one, and and that that's another form of split testing. So in, so so for example, in this specific case, we're not running CBO. We're, 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 we're setting that budget at the ad set level on the second tab. So this is Facebook's new, new, new uh, method, new um, strategy, if you want to call it that, but it's where you split, it's where you put the ad, it's where you, it's where you put the ad budget here and CBO. What it does is it, it also will allocate that budget to your four different audiences to really see which one pops. But I've done both and I haven't really seen like the biggest, biggest difference just yet. So, so if anything, here's what you can do. Here's another form of split testing. Here's what I would do next is yes, go CBO, turn that to on. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Oh. Don't, don't do oh. it now, bro. Don't touch nothing right now. That's next. You run a whole different ad campaign, everything the same, but you're putting the budget here. So the one okay. lifetime would go here versus how you have it set up now. So it's, it's very, this, it's the same, but it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be way different. So let this run, let this run first the way everything is set up now. And then that would just be our next test running, running the budget through the CBO. Oh, okay. 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 So, um, can, but I cannot, I can, I can always change. Well, I do want to change it to run 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I, I could, we'll do want to change that. You could change the calendar. That's the time. That's about the only thing you, you want to change. You can change the title. 
But as far as changing anything else, don't touch anything else. Don't touch the targeting. Don't touch the, the audience. Don't touch the city. Don't touch any of that. Like leave all that right. the same. But the calendar, you can change the calendar. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, let me just turn, me to turn this heat off because it's on hell right now. My apartment on hot. Okay. Um, all right. So, so that's all set up and all good. Okay. So this one, I guess, is the next. Oh, also, did you see the new way that um, we have to get your pixel code? Well, unless there was a new way that came out last night. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't. What? What? What part are you talking about? Like, if you go to, well, if I let me go here. Where did I go? So I, when I went to try, try to go to events, when I first was redoing everything, they wouldn't. So I'm going to show you. I don't know why this is still here. Um, so let's just say you say add an event, right? Mm -hmm. Add it to a new website. You click this. It doesn't allow, it doesn't, um, it allow, well, it would not well it'll allow you to but they have this thing where you go to it'll i don't know how they how they did it before but they'll it'll send you over to like some kind of tool yeah and then yeah, you, that's that's old but copy code right here that's where you would copy it so copy it click, oh, click okay. the green one and then and then, and so now it's copied hit the blue one hit continue and what you want to change over here is the advanced matching so turn that on you always want to get this far with it so turn that on and and now all that now Facebook will start will start matching all of this stuff to your ideal audience as well. Hit continue. This part right here, add event code. This right here is just another way to set up the different conversions. So you can you can go this route, but it's it's not necessary at all. Like if you, as long as you have custom oh, okay. conversions set up, and as long as you have custom audiences set up, then then you're fine. I just go that route. I go setting it up myself rather than than going this this route but this ain't a bad a bad tool to use also but it, it's both the same it's the same it's just you can use the okay. event setup tool to add standard events and parameters without the need to code this is the simplest easiest option to install pixel events again an event is 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 an action so if someone right. clicks on a button that's an event if someone lands on a page that's an event and so right. what we did is we just set up our own. We set up our own custom conversion. If you land on that page, I'm going to call this easy, easy battery leads. If you land on this page, I'm going to call it easy battery web page visitors. You know, we, right, just, right. we just ended up setting it up that way versus going this way. Um, that's all. So you can exit oh, okay. this part. And, and, and all, but always, yeah, when you, when you do install the pixel, always make sure you turn on the advanced matching. So you, why, you know, what, why is this still here, though? That's why I don't, I don't get it. I've hit the diagnostics the right there that where that number one is hit that diagnostics yeah hit that and then it'll tell you right here but normally your pixel recently started sending events okay so go ahead and just click click ignore ignore all this all, yeah if you don't want to allow the domain so it's just telling you that the domain is now is now being read your pixel recently started sending events from this domain so that's all and then and then if you refresh the page that red triangle should eventually disappear Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and a lot of this shit, bro, all you do is just follow the damn freaking follow it. Like click on it and see yeah, how it says, okay. you know, and then, and then you'll be able to clear it out. So that's that, bro. Your shit looks good. When's it scheduled? Are you going to, so you wanted to change the calendar? When's it norm? When's it scheduled? Like it was scheduled for the, it was scheduled for the eighth on Sunday because okay. I was going to, talk to you on saturday gotcha, gotcha but you know so you can cancel the saturday one um okay. and then i'll run this for a couple days and then i'll three schedule out yeah three days yeah three days out um and then and before you can cancel it let's analyze it let's analyze it. so schedule a call for three days after the, uh, after it starts let's 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 jump on and jump back on and i'll, I'll we'll, we'll go over it together okay okay we'll look um, at the numbers before you turn them off before you turn it off
this is where I'm at right now. Now, this is where I may have gone a little OD. <laughs> so I was just like, um, yeah, we'll get into this for sure. But nothing else on the ad side, on the on the ads manager side. On the on on this one. Yeah, are we good on the ads manager? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good on okay. on going everything else. Okay, good. 